it's Lisa Natash. Thank you for joining me. Stay tuned to see how I create these tall 36 inches centerpieces. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Now, just to get right into it. So what I did was I went to Home Depot and I got these. These are um, dolls and they're they're like they're square. So um, this size is one half by three feet. Okay, so I bought four of these because of what I'm going to be doing. It's a square base uh, centerpiece stand. So I also at Home Depot bought a piece of wood. I think this is pine because it's soft. Oh no, I got a crack in there right there. Anyway, so I bought this. It was a longer, longer piece and the, the width of it is nine inches. And I had them, um, the gentleman at Home Depot cut it nine by eight inches so i end up getting like six pieces of these so this is going to be the base and i got something um heavy i think this is like half an inch or probably a little bit more than half inch inch um inch thick and i am going to do like it's a little bend hmm, oh well and what i'm going to do is attach it closer like probably an inch inch and a half towards the middle um, cause I've done, I've tried to do this before and I attach it right at the end here and it actually cracked the wood. So my fiance told me if I, you know, move in a little further in, you can see that it won't. And that's what I'm going to be doing. Okay. And I'm going to use inch and a half screws. going to go from the back here all the way through this piece. And you have to be careful that you don't split the wood. And honestly, I'm going to be getting help from my fiance cause I'm not too much into drills. So he's going to help me with that part of it, okay? Also, after I drill it, because I made one already, I actually made two already, two of the bags. So after I drill it and got everything all ready, I spray paint it with the Rust-Oleum Bright Coat Metallic Finish, Rich Shiny Finish Fast Dry. This is what it is, and I got this from Home Depot. Now, this is what it should look like. Well, actually... This one, when I start to make it, I drill a hole at the end, the corner here, and it cracked the wood. But I was going to make it over, but I decided I'm not going to. I'm just going to use this one. The other one is not dry yet. I moved the dough away from the edge, so it's like an inch or inch and a half um, towards the middle. Okay, and it looks, honestly, it's much better. It looks much better with um, that approach. You move it inward, and it doesn't crack the wood. But anyway, this is still beautiful. All right, see how tall it is? Now the top here, I have um, a circular wood um, piece that I got from Amazon. I bought like four of these, so I decided to use this as my, as my top. And how I attach this on the top here, so I'm gonna put this away and um, get started on what the floral part of the centerpiece will be. Okay, so let's start with the floral part. I got these at Walmart, they were $6 and change. And I got my plate here. It's a plastic plate. It's actually decorative K tray. That's what it is, a K tray, a cake tray. And I got this from the dollar store. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just add my greenery. And it's gonna be a lot. I'm gonna add six of these to each of the, the center pieces. I also have these. These I got at Walmart. I got these and I really like how these look. And these I got from the Dollar Tree. You know, the Dollar Tree can have some gems. With, you know, I try to look for the ones that doesn't look as fake. When you add the nicer flowers to it, it kind of like camouflage it, you know. So I do um, have this that I'm going to add. These at the Dollar Tree. And other green I'm going to use are these. And I got these at uh, Walmart. I'm gonna do two bunch of these for each of them, okay? And these, I might just put three. It just depends on how much green is going on here. Love, love, love this little wispy looking one with the little ends right here. Walmart as well. And, um, and I really love these. And these were like $6 at Michael's. These um, from Ashland, these are from Michael's. I'm going to add these as well. And these, these are from Michael as well. So let's go on and add these bad boys in there. 
and I'm just going to open them up and remember I'm putting six in each um, centerpiece. <music> to move my camera because it's up because it's getting so full oh. now for the flowers I got my flowers from um, this one is from Walmart these are hydrangeas these are from um, I'm gonna be adding some orchids introduce they're from and my daughter Samaya is here so I should introduce her and I got these from uh, Pioneer Wholesale. Um, and I also got, I got these little grass looking, wispy looking ones from Walmart. And I got Pioneer Wholesale again. And a bunch of these from um, Michaels with some cherry blossom Michaels. Okay. And I got these. I have to show you how pretty these are. And these are, um, what are they? Are they cherry blossom? Cherry blossoms. Look how pretty they are. Walmart. Gems. Told you. Walmart has some gems. And these were $5. I think it was $5. Yeah, Walmart. 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 <laughs> centerpiece they are so fluffy <laughs> look how big they are to my head <laughs> I love them they are they look really really good so now I'm going to decorate the stand I have three things that I'm gonna add to it this jewel border that I got from the Dollar Tree I used this before in one of the centerpieces and it looks really really nice and I loved it so I'm also going to use this is um, glass so I'm going to use this on some part of the centerpiece, maybe the, I don't think the, the bottom part. And then I have these acrylic beads that I'm going to use. This one, let's work on this one. So it's all spray painted. So let's decorate this space. Okay. <laughs> Um, I had to basically stop because of uh, I ran out of stickers so I have to um, go and get those another day so I'm gonna insert a clip at the end for you to see all the centerpieces together I went ahead and I add the acrylic beads okay these are them and these beads I'm gonna have orbs hanging from them I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now okay okay this is the final look this is two of the center pieces i love love them it's gonna show you a closer look at the jewel stickers that I'm out of. I add them to the bottom of the centerpiece. I think they look absolutely beautiful. Need to get some more. That's the glass um, piece that I showed you earlier. I just stick that in the middle. It has adhesive on the bottom of it. And that is what the sticker look like. It's a close up. It's, they're very pretty. No wonder they go out so quickly. They're sold out. I have, I believe, five orbs on this centerpiece, six orbs, and there are another one, two of five and two of six, I believe. Close up of the floral arrangement. There are lights um, in the centerpiece, so when the lights are dim, they will light up. I will show you a clip of what it looks like lit up. Now, um, it's absolutely beautiful. Remember, they're 36 inches tall. I love them. Let's see your other one. And here it is. 
what it looks like when it's light lit up that is not my intention to have blue i do not have the correct tea light colors so i just decide to use what i have just for you to get a you know a look of what it the the end result will be so these are submergible lights and these are not going to be the tea lights i use but doesn't it look pretty can it look like an octopus <laughs> So I have lights um, in the, the orbs and there is light. There are lights on the top in the floral part of it. And you see how pretty those look. And I am actually going to, I was thinking of adding another light in there, but I think it looks, it's good enough. And I just have to get, as I said, white tea lights for the orbs. So that is what it looks like lit up. It's going to look better actually. Now these are the four centerpiece put together. I just put them like this so you get an idea what they look like. Okay, this is it. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Click on the bell so you get alerts whenever I upload my videos. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.